So in this video, I wanted to talk about the GoPro Hero 10. Again, yes. Uh, some time ago, I made a video where I was comparing this one to this camera. This is the Insta360 Ace Pro. Both are great, great cameras. And I did these comparison shots where I wanted to show you that it's really a matter of personal preference. However, I do think that the Ace Pro has more features that I personally think it makes this camera a more all-around camera that you can use for different purposes. And so for me, this one is the better camera. However, I still want to talk about the GoPro Hero 10. And I know we have the GoPro Hero 11, we have the GoPro Hero 12. Personally, I don't think it's such a big leap um, if we're talking about, you know, resolutions and frame rates and stuff like that. Yes, you do get log and the ability to put on a lot on 10-bit files, which definitely helps. But essentially, I think that the GoPro Hero 10 still has legs to stand on, so to speak, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> um, but in this video, I sort of wanted to highlight my general opinion of the GoPro Hero 10 in 2024. Is this a still a good camera in 2024? And the answer to this is yes, it is. It is good for a number of reasons. There are many cameras from different brands and the GoPro Hero 10 happens to have a lot of features that I still value personally to this day. First of all, I want to talk about the fact that an, this is an action camera, which means that it's it's good build quality, you know, and you can use this on your adventures where you are some pro, uh, you know, diver or pro uh, parachuter or whatever. And you can use it on vacation. You can use it underwater. It's waterproofed. Although personally, I always put this in a water case. But my point is, it's a compact, rugged camera. And it has a lot of bells and whistles that I think people overlook because they compare it with better features on some other cameras. But the simple fact is that the image quality out of a GoPro Hero 10 is good is really, really good. 5.3K. You can shoot slow motion in pretty decent image quality. Um, you can record for pretty long time. There were some overheating issues with this camera when it first launched, but then they did release the Enduro battery, which did a whole lot of difference, and basically it didn't overheat as much. But personally, it never... I think it's only overheat on me once, but essentially I shoot very short clips, so it's never really ruined any shots for me, unlike the Sony ZV E1, which sometimes stops recording on a hot day like this one, but <laughs> I've sort of learned to work with it. It's not a deal breaker for me. Plus it's so freaking expensive that I can't really complain, now can I? Um, but the GoPro Hero 10, like I said, it has a lot of bells and whistles, and it has a lot of features. So, for example, it's got this one lens, but you can change the perspective from narrow to a linear mode. It's got the 360 degree tilt mode, so it means that you can basically use this in all sorts of angles, and it will give you a straight image all the time. Uh, you can change the resolution, you can change the frame rate, uh, you can change the colors, it's got a nice codec set, and it's also got a lot of stabilization features. You can really control the stabilization. Like GoPros have been known for the past couple of years for their amazing uh, image stabilization. And on the GoPro Hero 10, it's still freaking good. It's really good. I would even argue that in some scenarios, it's better than the Ace Pro. And furthermore, you know, GoPro is a pretty cool label. It's a good brand that I personally trust. You know, we had some issues with other brands like the Insta360 recently. There is some things that could be said about the Sony brand as well. But, you know, that's just life. But with the GoPro, I, I get a sense that they're really trying to give you good products. And no, this is obviously not a paid review or anything like that. I'm just stating the facts that the GoPro Hero cameras are pretty good. I've never had any severe issues. Like, 
for most GoPro cameras that I've had, there is this freeze issue that most people have experienced. I'm so used to it that I've learned to live with it. Now, it might sound crazy to some of you, but really, it's not a big deal. Yes, the camera sometimes freezes. So what? Big deal. Most cameras have some issues, you know, and with the GoPros, they freeze sometimes. It just, it's just the way it is. Um, and there is a quick solution. You just remove the battery and put it back in again, and it's quickly solved, okay? And it's not always. <clears throat> and the footage that I record on this thing, it's never happened that I've, it's like vanished or anything like that. But some people have reported that this happens to them. But no, I still think that considering how many, there are so many features on this camera that I still think that this is a very, very good camera, even in 2024, even though that there are newer versions of the GoPro, even though we're almost uh, soon going to get a, uh, the GoPro Hero 13, sometime in September, October. I still think this is a great camera. It's got a good touch screen on the back. It's got a nice screen on the front. You know what you're recording when you're vlogging and stuff like that. Very good built-in microphones. It's got a lot of ton of accessories. You can get the uh, wide angle mod lens. You can attach macro lenses to this thing. And yeah. I think it's a cool and fun camera to use. Mostly that it's fun. It's a lot of fun to use a GoPro compared to most of my cameras. Anyway, just wanted to share some thoughts about the GoPro Hero 10. Hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.